Hey guys, this is Oli from Oli's Big Picture. Today in downtown Shanghai in a metro station with three German students who just arrived here in Shanghai yesterday. And now we want to show you together how the metro system works. We're going to show you how to navigate in the metro, how to get tickets for the metro and stay until the end because it's very important for the navigation. Also for Tongxi students, but all other people who come to Shanghai that you get at a forking or at the split of a metro the right direction. I will show you at the end of the video, so definitely stay so you don't get lost. But without further ado now, let's get into it and let's get some tickets for us. And now we're gonna show you how to ride a metro. We're gonna explain you together the many different ways to obtain a metro card. For people who come to Shanghai basically the first time is of course to just buy a simple ticket in the machines. There are still machines you can use your cash. As well there's machines you can scan the QR code on the machine to pay with your WeChat or Alipay to get a metro card for one ride. Now Michael is so helpful to show you guys how this can work for you when you have some cash. So without further ado, you first go to the machine and then on this machine here you check if it has like a bill and a coin insert and then you can put it into English. And now when it's in English the metro is very very big. It's easier when you just select the line you want to go. And therefore we select now line one because we want to go to line one. We go here on preview, exactly, we go on line one. And now we choose the metro station we want to go, which is Chuchiahui. We press on it and then you can also see here how many tickets you want to buy. And if you want to pay by WeChat to generate the QR code or if you want to pay with the cash. Okay, now we have the right metro station to confirm. Now we have selected two. And now we're gonna pay with our bill. Hopefully it works. Looking good. And there are the metro cards. Okay, let's take out the metro cards and we show you in a bit how you can use those metro cards to enter the metro. Also use the app in your phone, which is Alipay to have a metro card in a digital form to ride the bus and the metro here in Shanghai, also in other big cities here in China. For this, first you click in your Shifu Bao and Alipay on transport. Then you click here on view. And then it asks you for Shanghai Metro City Transport because we are in Shanghai. Click activate. And now it asks you to make the tick and agree. And now you have to put in your PIN from your paying app. So from this paying from your card, you use the same PIN. One thing we have to focus. And now you click on use now. And there it is. That is your metro card. And now this metro card, we're going to show you in a bit how you use it to enter the metro. Also an option for the iPhone user that you can add already the metro card to ride the metro here in Shanghai or other big cities in China in your wallet. So now we're going to show you how this works. To set up this card you just click on the right upper card on the plus and then you have two choices and you go for the ÖPNV card. What is in German like public transportation? And then you search for the uh, Shanghai uh, public trans uh, transportation card. It T-Union and just click on it then you can go further and just choose an amount of money you want to uh, top up uh, up your card just 50 for now I would guess yeah and then just edit add the card and accept the uh, agree to something you cannot read <laughs> <laughs> that's it and uh, now you have to put in your PIN, of course, for paying. But this one you can pay with your foreign bank card. Uh, I guess, yes. Okay. Let's see if it works. Okay, there it is. 
And now, when it's uh, finished, you use it with the NFC ship, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Another way to buy a metro ticket, besides the one we just showed you, is you can also buy a metro card where you can put money on it in those machines here. You have those kinds of machines, you can put them into English, and you can get here a card and then purchase a card for 20 renminbi with Alipay or WeChat Pay and this card gonna have a deposit of 20 and then you will get a plastic card and with this plastic card you then can put as much money you want on it it looks like this basically and anytime afterwards you want to recharge and top up you click here you put a card in there then it reads it it reads it has like one RMB left you just go for example now on uh, WeChat Pay say you want like top up 30 RMB and then you confirm and pay with your WeChat Pay. This is another way to get a plastic card for the metro if you don't want to use your phone to get into the metro. Now after we got the metro cards in many different ways, let's check out how we get into the metro with those metro cards. So first, before you always have to do a security check where they're gonna check your bag. You have to put the bag on the machine when the bag is open, you can also open the bag and show it to the employees and they check it inside quickly. But for closed bags, you have to put it here on this machine. It's gonna get scanned for anything harmful that shouldn't be in the metro. For me in the past 10 years here in Shanghai, I was never stopped. I never had something in my bag I couldn't take to the metro. So don't be worried about this one. And after this one, you just go here to those scanning machines and now we show you the different ways how to get into the metro. So the first we show you with Alipay with the QR code. Hey guys, let's go a bit more to my side so we leave space for the other customers. Okay, the first is Alipay. You go on transport, it generates the code and you scan the code with this one and let's see if it works and you just go in. That's it, green. Then the next way you have is when you have the normal card you bought from the machine for one way, you use it, you put it here on the reader and that's it and take it with you and the last way you have the iPhone you go into your wallet with the NFC and you just go there put it on top and that's it and you are into the metro but now I have to turn off my camera so I can also use my phone to get into the metro as well once we are in the metro how to get around in the metro definitely use the metro app I have a guide what apps you should download for the uh, for your trip to China, definitely check it out. The link will be down below in the video. And when you know where to go, you have to find basically your line. Your line has different colors. You have, for example, here on this, you have line number 12. You have line number one with different colors. And over there, you have the line number 10, which is purple. For us now, we have to go to line number one. So we just follow basically the arrows. It's not a big deal, you just follow the number, you don't have to speak Chinese. It's very, very self-explaining. So don't get worried that you get lost. It's much easier to navigate around in the Shanghai Metro than in the Berlin Metro, or am I wrong? I think because those guys, they study in Berlin and they know it's not easy when you're a foreigner, you come to Berlin to get around in the metro system here. But for me personally, in Shanghai, I find it quite easy. So let's find now our line one and there we're gonna show you how to navigate in which way you go that you don't take the wrong train. Now we arrived on the line one, the red line we were looking for. You can see this because here everything is in red. And now you have to check where you want to go. Where's your stop? It's all in Chinese and in English. And the gray area is already over. Now it will come here to South Shangxi Lu. And we want to go to Chuchiahui. Which one? I also have to look right now where it is. It's already over, it's there where line 9 and 11 goes. So this is not the direction to go. We have to go 
to the other direction. The guys are already waiting there. And now we go here. The next stop is going to be Changshulu. You can see it over there. And we have to go this direction here. So it's very easy and simple to see which direction is already over and to which direction it's going to go. And you also have some TVs here where you can see the times when the next metro will come. It's over here. You can check here the times and how many minutes those trains are going to come. Usually here in downtown every two to three minutes you have a new metro so you don't need to run. Just wait another two minutes and the next metro will come. So let's wait until our arrives and then we will show you more. Now once we are in the metro, it depends on the metro, not just on the line, but also on the train in the metro. If it has a digital board, where it's going to show you where you are right now and where you are going next. This one is an older one. So here it shows you the different stops, but it's not digital, so it doesn't show you where you are and what is the next one. So this metro right now is very old school. Over there you see this black sign. It's gonna show you the next stop in Chinese and in English. Once you get off the metro, all the signs in English as well for the exit. Or now you can see line 9 and line 11. As I said before, you don't have to worry that you get lost somewhere. You just follow the signs and then you can check with your map on your phone. When you zoom into the metro, exit and then the metro um, station you are right now you can just see also which exit you should take i will show you also some maps on the wall where you can find out what exit is maybe the most convenient for you to exit but if you are not sure just take any exit and orient yourself once you're on the surface again and you don't have to worry that you don't have the internet down here in any metro, anywhere, all the stations, you have mobile data with your phone. You won't be disconnected from the world outside. So you can navigate yourself and translate everything you need in real time without any issues. You can find not only the metro map, but here, this is one of the biggest stations in Shanghai. You can find also the exits. So if you know roughly where you want to go, you can choose the number of your exit and go there. And it's also written here, in Chinese and as well in the pinyin, like in the English or Latin letters. If you are not sure, just go out of any of those exits and then basically just follow your map. Before we get off the metro now, we will show you the Line 11 metro here, what is also not just Line 11, but there's also other lines like Line 10, where the metro splits at a certain point. So it's very important for you that you sometimes not only take the same direction, but you also have to check which of the splits you have to take. And for example, if you want to know which direction the metro is going, I show it you now for the Tongxi students to go to Chiading. You have to check the characters. You see one of the end stops here is this one and another end stop is this one. So you have to like basically memorize those characters and then when you know which direction you want to go which one would be now for the Tongxi students to Hu Jiao because they want to go to Shanghai Automobile City that's where the Tongxi Jiading campus is you have to check those monitors and here you can see in what time they come I put a picture for you in here and you can see at what time the metro is arriving to which of the end destinations. So make very sure that you find one of those monitors in the metro station and then choose the one end stop that you are wanted to go. Don't get into the other one, otherwise you can get lost. Very important not only for the Tongxi students, but for anyone, for example, on line 10. If you want to go to line 10 to Shanghai Railway Station or Shanghai Hongxiao Airport, then you also need to find the right split on line 10. Super important for everybody. 
Once you arrived on the exit of the metro, of course you have to leave it through the same gate. You can do it once with your Alipay as you got in before. You just have the QR code when you go in Alipay and then on transport. And then you basically just go here to the gate and you scan like the lady with the phone or you scan it now with your phone and then it should leave you out and it deducts the money automatically from your phone account you have linked to your Alipay app. Another way is with the one-time Metro card. Now you put it in there, not on top, exactly, and the card is gone. And another way with the iPhone, you just put the iPhone with the NFC chip and then you get out. And now I have to turn off my camera again on the phone because I have to get out with my phone as well. This was the Metro Guide. Thank you very much for the three guys helping me and see you on the next one. Check out my other videos.